This is part one of Unbelievable Marriage and Sex Laws Across the United States. In part one, you will learn about 10 states that have some laws regarding sex and marriage that you will find hard to believe. Find out which state says it's against the law to have loud sex in a motel if you are not a married couple. Alabama. I'm sure you've heard the saying, it feels like you're kissing your sister. Well, in the United States, there are laws against marrying your sister. However, in Alabama, incest law doesn't say anything against marriage between first cousins. I guess there's something to be said for keeping it all in the family. California. Are you a long haul truck driver looking for certain novelty sex items to help pass the time on a long drive? Don't plan on stopping at any roadside adult novelty toy stores to do your sex shopping. You might be breaking the law. In California, it's illegal to sell or buy pillows that look like breasts within 1,000 feet of a highway. Colorado. If it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, then it's a duck. Sometimes, lawmakers don't want to call a duck a duck, so they try to dress it up with pretty language. The Colorado lawmakers said, body houses, or, hotels, that cater to rowdy sexual activity, are illegal. So, does that mean, whore houses, are legal in Alamosa, Colorado? Delaware. We all have played the game, truth or dare, at some time or another. It turns out the best place to play this game is in Delaware. Delaware allows people to annul or cancel a marriage, if it was based on a, jest, or dare by one, or both parties. I wonder if that law applies, to a marriage performed while under the influence of drugs, or alcohol? Or, if you have been married for 20 years? Florida. In Florida, if you are an unmarried couple living together, you better keep your sex life calm, uneventful and under control. It's against the law, for an unmarried couple to live together, but only if they're doing it in a, lewd, and lascivious, manner. Sounds like you better make sure those springs on the bed are oiled so they don't squeak. Georgia. Roswell, Georgia, allows for establishments to feature exotic dancing, as long as the owner of the establishment has a license. However, no erotic dancing establishment can be open on Sundays. One enterprising business owner opened and had his dancers working on Sundays. He was taken to court by the city lawyers, but the business owner won the case. In court, the business owner said, his dancers weren't doing exotic dances. Since the business had TVs for the patrons to watch football games, the owner said, the dancers, weren't dancers. They were cheerleaders, doing football cheers. Hawaii In Hawaii, there's no official restriction on having sex with animals, otherwise known as bestiality. I guess the lawmakers figure, they have that covered, with the existing cruelty to animal laws. Idaho. The school board in Idaho was trying to educate the students about teen pregnancy. The school board decided the sex education class must teach the relationship of sex to the miracle of life. The teachers were perplexed when the students seemed to be confused after the class and wanted to know what caused girls to be pregnant. I thought the whole idea of teaching sex education was to make it less complicated for the students. Illinois. I guess lawmakers can't rely on common sense or common decency. Therefore, laws must be specific. Illinois is one of the only states to explicitly ban having sex with a corpse or the act of necrophilia. Other states must feel they don't have to be that specific for their residents. Kansas. In Kansas, it's against the law to knowingly drive a sex worker to a client's room. This is considered promoting prostitution. Here again, we see lawmakers trying to make things sound better, by trying to put lipstick on a pig. Basically, this law says, a pimp, the driver, can't drive his hooker, the sex worker, to the motel to meet the john, the client. Why not just call it what it is?